We loved him for his ruthless logic and severe intellect, an alien who taught us a lot about being human. Plus, no one carried off pointed ears with as much style. Today, the man who brought us Mr. Spock died. Stephen D'Souza looks back on the legacy of Leonard Nimoy. Spock here. Mr. Spock, the ship feels wrong. Feels, Mr. Scott. Though Mr. Spock showed no emotion, Fascinating. the death of Leonard Nimoy is stirring strong feelings in fans like Jerry Gladstone. Everyone was shocked. Uh, nobody expected it. He was 83, but somehow we expect our icon to live longer. Born in Boston, Nimoy's cult status began when Star Trek did in 1966. He was the cold and logical foil to the emotional captain played by Canadian William Shatner, who wrote today, I loved him like a brother. We will all miss his humor, his talent, and his capacity to love. I am Sergeant Diego Mendez. Nimoy would go on to act in Mission Impossible, to direct movies like Three Men and a Baby, and become an author and photographer, all while still acting. One of his last roles was on Vancouver shot Fringe. Father. But in the end, it always came back to Spock. I am not our father. A character Nimoy long struggled with, detailing the journey in two memoirs. I am not Spock in 1977. Then, decades later, another entitled, I am Spock. Hello, I'm Leonard Nimoy. It was a sign that he eventually embraced the character just as audiences had. Spock? I need to speak with you. <laughs> Fascinating. I met my childhood hero. James now. Armstrong runs Fan Expo and hosted Nimoy three times. He remembers he always had time for fans. Uh, his presence at Fan Expo always filled the room with excitement. Fans were just overjoyed to see him. While Nimoy was a star of science fiction, he and his castmates were often cited as an inspiration for many to boldly go where no one had gone before. I have been a Vulcan for 44 years. I figured it was about time I came home. Nimoy famously went to Vulcan, Alberta in 2010. Today, people there remembered their most famous visitor. People are devastated. Um, we're getting a lot of well wishes from many, many people. Nimoy died of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease coming from years of smoking, an addiction he spoke out against in his later years. His final tweet sent Monday, a life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had, but not preserved, except in memory. Since my customary farewell would appear oddly self-serving, I shall simply say, good luck. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York. Those little things Nimoy brought to the character of Spock seeped into pop culture. The Vulcan mind meld? It became shorthand for being able to tell what someone was thinking. The Vulcan nerve pinch. And even though many have tried, there's no real instant knockout button. Live long and prosper. And that Vulcan salute is actually the Hebrew letter Shin. Nimoy saw rabbis use a variation of the gesture as a young boy. Coming up, we'll take.